helped get there. And I've, I've seen him twice. No way. They never found his body, but I've seen him twice. Just just here, hanging out. Well, they ended up both dying at one point in time. And they Due put to them, scurvy. Due to scurvy. And they put them both in the same hole. Oh my, and oh my like, god. Picture the feud. And I'm like, oh how is there not more hate here? <laughs> And the thing is, oh. put them both in the same hole. Yeah. How are we not? How are we not uh, dealing with this? Help! No. Shit! No. Oh! Ah! Ah! Dude! What's up, family? Welcome back to our daily life. We're here. We are still in the valley. We uh are checking out a haunted fort. We're visiting Port Royal right now. We're uh, making our way up. But uh, yeah, welcome back to another vlog. This uh, continues our adventure from last time. And I hope you guys went ahead and followed me on Instagram because it'll help you, you know, get notified real quick. Up here, you'll be able to see like a really beautiful fort. Came here in the winter time and uh, yeah, we've been wanting to go in it ever since. Yeah, we've never been able to come out here when it's open yet. So it's our first time actually being able to go inside of it since we moved to Nova Scotia. Flowers are in bloom, the grass is green, the ocean is fishy <laughs> and I love it. And uh, we don't have Kia, she had a fit last time we came here. Did so <laughs> we were doing a photo shoot here. We tied Kia to like one of the posts and we went around the building to go to the front for a bit. And this girl, man, she was screaming bloody murder. <laughs> like. Yeah. Just like, Just like oh, that. oh my god. She thought we were abandoning her. So she's got some trauma. Yeah, she was we just tied her right there and literally walked. Anyways. <laughs> this is an exact replica. This is nuts. Of that Kev's got them all. Wow. So this Holy Look at these, bro, look at this. Yeah. Like the original cast iron type of thing, you know? Yeah. That hasn't been changed since it was. And that was the <laughs> What? That was the entryway for, for the fort. Like, that was the door for, for the, what they would call it, the habitation. That was fortified and there were probably uh, a guard right here outside probably yeah. uh, having post or look probably look, you see the where the guards would be protecting They're right in here oh this is cool where the guards would do their rounds watching on the horizon if any native or any uh, english would come and attack yeah i mean it's a beautiful spot Wow. Okay, so this is called the exhibit room. So it says here, this room would have been used to store ship supplies and later converted into a residence. Uh, today, these, wait, is this the exhibit room? So that go the right way? It says they're supposed to be display cases. And like, these aren't display cases, those are just axes. Maybe it's on this side. <sighs> I think I went the wrong way. Whoa. I think it went the wrong way. Oh, what? yep, yep. All right, guys, oh, I lied. We're trading post. Yes, yeah, we're man. not in the exhibit room like I thought we were. This is number 14. So this is called the so, trading room. The trading room, because you would come and exchange some furs or some tools. It's like the blacksmith shop, you know? It's like you come in and exchange for... Well, There's it, probably a blacksmith well, the, on your... Yeah, there in. was a blacksmith on site, but the, 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 the coureur des bois and the native would come here and sell their skin to have a knife, a yeah, book, it's a all pot, stuff. They an axe, in, uh, uh, some hooks uh, to go fishing. Look at that cauldron, like babe. Blankets. That's my cauldron. You need a cauldron like that. I do, in our fireplace for my, my rituals. <laughs> it's perfect. And sometimes they would buy probably a barrel of gunpowder or something like that to have uh, with them. So, so wow. we're, we've That's gone awesome. the wrong way. So yeah. we must go this way. This way? 
What's over that way? There's a basement. No way. There's a basement? Hold on, hold on. What? <gasps> that was probably no way. to keep all the, the, the cold, like a, like a cool room. That Dude, was the what? Wine yeah. This was the wine cellar? This yeah. was the wine cellar? Okay. Yeah, probably. All the wine cellar are to keep. It's, it's like, it's their fridge. Oh, yeah, this one, yeah, this one would have been That's definitely the fridge. A, a storage area for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's so freaking cool. Wow, eh? Fridge. Well, for everyone that wants to know what this place was, this was built in 1605 by the French settlers, which basically the Mi'kmaq indigenous people who are here taught them how to survive in this climate. And this has just been preserved as is till this very day. It's completely, like we've been wanting to get in here for well, This, this like, is before they built even Quebec City, Tadoussac. Tadoussac well, yeah, was- yeah, 1605, six, dude. This is 1605. Tadoussac, 1607. Quebec City, 1614. Trois Rivières, 1634. Yeah, man. So. It, it, it was yeah. ablaze by by the British, but this would have been what an habitation would look like when you yeah. talk about the habitation of Quebec, the habitation of Trois Rivières. That would have been just like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a loop here, just by myself for a bit. I think I'm gonna throw up Spirit Talker or something. I just kind of whoa. I want to like just get my energy going in here, you know? Just wanna like see what's up in here first. So you gotta kinda think, you know? Are the people still here residing? Like what? What the hell? No way. Those do not look comfortable at all. <laughs> like look at that. That's like 100% leather, all leather. Whoa. This became the first European settlement north of Florida, like North America, you know? At the time, at least, you know, like New France owned this at one point. There's a whole history behind that, like the Canada or the East Coast of Canada was considered New France at the time, like way back in the day. Like, it's just so much history here. Right now we're in Annapolis Royale. And even back then there's like Fort Anne that's down the way. And so many events happened there too. Like the Mi'kmaq indigenous people rebelled against like the French. There's battles, bloodshed. We're in a very haunted valley and area of Nova Scotia. Like so much shit went down here. And this is a hot spot, 100%. One day I do hope to uh, get in here, investigate a bit. This is beautiful. We'll get into those in a sec. I'm gonna do a loop. See if I can, I'm gonna try and find a uh, Chels and uh, <laughs> there you go. Hey, you. Whoa. This is cool. This is it. Yo, this is an upstairs to the other place, eh? Oh, really? Oh, there's a, a line of defense here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw these last time, oh, dude. Guardhouse. Look at these. Yeah, those Sheesh. are really old hand cannons. <laughs> I was walking here in the winter and these were pointed at my face. <laughs> so like, I was a little bit intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. Like, what would you have to do? You'd have to crank? No, it's know. just like, they would probably uh, pull it up like that to load it. Mm -hmm. They would put their powder, their butt, their, their... I assume this would like crank out or something, right? Or is uh, that just a Oh, handle? probably. Oh yeah, that's like, like first gen. Th there's um, kind of a... This part? Yeah. Yeah, probably oh. ha hit that part with a hammer yeah, to yeah. take it out. I see that, I see take that. Take the cannon out to put the, and shove yeah. it in. Aim it to the pirates and bang! Well, like even, it's like welded through, eh? You can't really shoot Yeah, yeah, well, it. yeah, they, they welded so. And there's the cannons. Yeah, the, right the, there. that's the shots. Yeah, 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 they they were, 
shooting at super cannonballs. Probably <laughs> uh, pirates or uh, native that would come and raid oh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. fort. Like imagine though, you're right here. That's a nice view though. <laughs> like, yeah. it, that's too nice of a view to get shot at. <laughs> well, probably over on this little steppy. Well, you got this view. Yeah. So like imagine or like a nice day like this. You're like and killing people. I don't know if there was a battle. It's a theory. Maybe there was. This is the old, this is not a Quebec flag. This is the old French flag. New France. New France, the, Fran the, the flag French. of New France. Yeah. That almost matched their um, attire too, the blue and the yep. white. Kind of like this door frame. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The powder blue is the color of royalty. In France, that is. <laughs> color of royalty? Royalty in Oh, I didn't know that. Whoa. This is so dope. I do feel an energy in here. For sure. Do you feel an energy? I do, yeah. Yeah. Did well? No, I didn't. There, I saw another one too. Yeah, there are, there. there's. I don't know if we can go up this way. It's over here. Whoa. Is that a goose? <laughs> That's a Canadian goose. They would have like killed the goose, geese, ate it there. This is like to me, I would love to have a dinosaur. I did not know that was on. <laughs> I would love to have a dining room like this. Yeah, that'd be nice. It's a long ass table for just us two. Yeah, and Kia. Yeah. <laughs> Kia would sit at the front, of course. Yeah, the head. Where did Jeff go? I hear his voice <laughs> radiating from somewhere. How did he get. What? I hear him up there. <laughs> How did you get up there? How did he get up there? Okay, I see it. I didn't, I didn't, I'm like, Stranger Things. Yeah. I didn't see a stairs. How did he see that if he was in. I don't know. Amelia. Two. Two machines. Four. Oh, cool. Oh, there's sleeping quarters. Okay. Yeah, it's living quarters. Wow. Whoa. But, as living quarters, it would be a line of defense also mm. because just if, in case if the, the the raiders would come in the fort the machete mm, because the fort would all the the surrounding of the fort would be sealed yeah so if the raiders come in the inner court well the defenders would be in the walls and shoot at the assailants from these wow. positions. It's like they'd probably be on their stomachs yep. if they need to. Exactly. Wait and that. shooting their muskets and probably somebody being beside them, giving them muskets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody would be reloading the muskets and somebody would be shooting them. Spend the night here. Dude, yeah, right up here, eh? Living here. Like, you would just be like, <laughs> on your stomach. Oh, hurts my back. Damn. All the personnel. My name is Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary. Wow. Well, Mary, will be probably full of hate. Yeah. This, uh, aren't those beds? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're bunks. Yeah, and, sure. uh, you know what this is? Something out of a movie. Time out room? It's probably an old washroom or something. Oh. That's the. Oh, jeez. Oh, those probably are, are beds for. A little oh, extra beds. Probably... Kids? Nope. Ladies. Oh, you privacy. privacy. Mm. So because you would have had privacy. Here would have been probably the soldiers, mm. and in there, the ladies. Actually, consider it one of the ones that sticks at my brain is in 
the storeroom, there are two bales of straw. Mm -hmm. And I asked one of the, I had students in this morning, I said, how old is baled straw? And they're like, oh, well, it's always been around. It's just, hey, bales of hay, your bales of hay. That's, mm -hmm. no. In fact, the same year that the patent went public for the small square hay bale mm -hmm. was the same year that this site opened. Oh, really? wow. I didn't know that. 1941, yeah. <laughs> wow. Because back in the day, they used just, just to pile up the hay. Yep. They mm -hmm. used to have big piles of the hay. Wow. Right. So, and like this particular stretch, this is where the Acadians learned to farm in the New World. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where they learned that, because we didn't have our first cattle here until 1632, mm -hmm. wow. and they weren't able to keep them alive for any amount of time until like 1636-ish, yeah. when they figured out how they were going to feed them through the winter. Because any fodder, any root vegetable and things like that they would have had, they yeah. would have kept. No, we're yeah. not sharing with cows, that's enough. No, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. those turnips are mine. Yeah. But when they realized the benefit of the salt marsh, no. and they took the knowledge that they had had with diking and abattoirs and, and, and flooding fields and mm -hmm. doing it that way, that's when they really started to being able to solidify agriculture. And start what they learned well. here, they applied in Tadoussac in 1607. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, they went down to Quebec, and so on and so on and so mm -hmm. on. Because without the knowledge they'll learn here, they, they wouldn't survive. The first, oh, yeah. the first batch of like the first winter, that 1604, 1605 winter, yeah. when they set up on Ile de Sequois, they set it up more like a French village, yeah. opposed to something that had its own protection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And that that particular island is about a third of the size of the one that's up here. Wow. Mm -hmm. They had no fresh water on the island. They were going to the mainland for water, which is oh, great yeah. until things start freezing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they used they cut down all the trees that were there. They cut so, down all the trees. Uh, they ended up burning furniture and housing by the whoa. time that happened was over. <laughs> wow. So when the wind, so then that's when uh, over the seventy men that first came, only thirty. They're not only thirty passed away. Yeah, mm -hmm. over. So they, I think it was thirty-six actually. So over. Yeah, half they the lost. Men died. They wow. lost half their their men. Mm -hmm. Over. Yeah, with scurvy and yep. exposure and mm -hmm. all those other things that go with. Oh, oops, we screwed up. So and it was that little bit of learning mm -hmm. that allowed Champlain to be like, we have to reevaluate how yep. we built, and then. That's why yeah. this is the way yeah. it is. And, and yeah. when they built Tadoussac, they had other problems in Tadoussac because in Tadoussac, well, it was other nations. You had the Algonquin on one side of the fleuve and you had the Iroquois yeah. on the other yeah. side of the fleuve. They didn't get along and so hard, though. No, 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 really. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Well, that's something to say about Champlain himself was when he died in, in 1636, 35, 36? 35, uh, 35 yeah, ish in there yeah. somewhere. There were over 30 nations that yeah. honored him mm. after wow. his passing. Yeah. And they're nations that have been at war for hundreds of years. And mm -hmm. they still were able to suck it up and honor him. Which tells me he was a man that deserved to be honored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if I don't speak your language, you have to work real hard to convince me you're a good human. Because how am I supposed to know? Well, right. we so all now, like, yeah. since you guys have that connection, like. A Detail-oriented. You guys experience paranormal stuff here. I, 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 it's, this is right, that's when I was going. We're we're paranormal investigators, but we okay, we okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like this. Yes, and yes. We love going to historical places yeah. because okay. it, it was. Where do we start with all of this information, Miss? Well, this was <laughs> this was. Do, built, wanna, do we want to sit down and have a chat at the table over specifically, there? personally? Uh, this area, yes. Absolutely, there are places where I've had a lot of personal experiences. This site? No. I, don't I have really? I don't site. find oh. much going much for me here. Okay. But on the outside of the wall, there's two in particular. Uh, the Grey Lady, which is yes. one of our famous. famous Wait, famous just on the dirt road right here? On, on this, no, strip, on this, this whole, whole strip. strip. Oh. The Grey Lady, Lady would have been a Victorian, not Victorian, uh, Edwardian, no, Georgian. 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 Back, Before, back, come back. on. Oh. The other one, 17. Um, she was a widowed sailor's wife uh, who has claimed to walk the beach waiting for her husband to come back. Mm -hmm. But her main goal is forerunning. So she's more of a don't 
keep going, the bridge is out. And the only reason you stopped is because you thought you saw somebody in the middle. I, yeah. So I thought you saw somebody in the middle of the road. So just past, the, there's a, if you keep going down this road, there's a lighthouse just the other side, like around the yeah. corner. Just the other side of the lighthouse, there's a small bridge. And there's actually documentation of gentlemen driving home in the evening in the from. 30s, 40s, 50s from Annapolis to that way that uh, saw someone in the road. So they stopped. Oh my And when God. they stopped, they realized the bridge was out. Oh, wow. One of yeah. those. So that's wow. what she Jeez. does. Wow. And wow. to stack on with that, um, what's the date? We got the 10th of July today, isn't it? <laughs> so we're about two weeks yep. away from 30 years, I do believe, maybe 28, um, from an accident just out here between that, it was running, they were running between that lighthouse oh, yeah, the ferry. and this island. No, it was, they oh. used to have their grad parties over there. This is only 30 years ago. Oh. They used to have their grad parties over there. So you can imagine what teenagers and beer and an island with the canoe and, and a boat. Uh, and oh, yeah. there was uh, a canoe go down and they lost one of the, the kids that were aboard. He was in his early 20s. His name was uh, tr uh, Ryan was his last name. And Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll get there. And I've, I've seen him twice. No way. They never found his body, but I've seen him twice. Just right by the lighthouse. Just just here, hanging out. <coughs> just doing because the things. Because we're close to the... Um, the place where the accident happened. Where the accident... Oh, this was actually shit. where they ran... Like, right. this site was where they ran their, the operations out of. Right. To, to recover from to that. To recover. Yeah. Wow. And because of the way the... the, the he had no hope. They found one of his boots. Oh. That's about it. But one of the... One of the really good publications for this area is called Blue Nose Ghosts. It's oh, by yes. Helen Creighton. Mm, yeah. Helen. Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, my sister is also in the process of writing another book as well and has been doing a lot of local paranormal research. Oh, cool. oh, so I can put cool. you in contact with them. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, those them. cats are from Halifax. Yeah. I'm from Quebec, but we're, I come here yeah. often. <laughs> we're, so, um, we're, another good spot I know is in the Fort Anne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's the oldest graveyard in North America because since the Acadians were there, they would have been buried there. Mm -hmm. So I have a family friend who used to work at the garrison house just across mm -hmm. and he'd say that he definitely experienced oh absolutely like, well, that's it, actually on like if i have one of times magazine on haunted places in canada and yeah they that used to do this is that what's going on here he starts the yeah he's starting them again later this month that's so the they, guy who's been doing it for a while well, though, right? he, yeah, yeah. yeah. the top he hat guy yeah. he would not yeah. cancel at all the only time i think he canceled was when it was like a thunder and lightning and COVID. Those okay. were the only and he had been running. He'd been running those. But lightning makes sense because you're walking out in the oh, big yeah, field. Dangerous. Like yeah, yeah. that's more yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Otherwise, he would not cancel rain or shine. That was they the investigated the garrison house yeah, before it changed. And so another yeah. one that's really good in Annapolis. Where your mom worked. Is uh, the Fort Anne Inn okay. or the Queen Anne Inn the rather? Queen Anne. Anne. Oh, so yes. the Queen Anne is the big silver one. The big, the big yeah, yeah. Big so that's was from one of the two sisters that has the other one. Yes. Right there, yeah. Sister. So my mother used to be a house keep, housekeeper and uh, cook there. And one of the things that even if there were no kids around, one of the things that she was constantly having to battle was handprints on mirrors. <gasps> so oh, full length print. mirrors. And small, <laughs> small, handprints. small handprints. But low on the mirrors. Ground, she was saying. And she's like, there's been no kids for two weeks. Wow. So she takes her bonbons mm -hmm. <laughs> and she starts leaving extra candy in all the rooms. She has no problem with handprints. She's literally like, all right, kids, this Jeez. is what we're going to do. Yeah. I'll give you the candy. You keep your grubby mitts off my mirrors. <laughs> and the only thing after that that she would found was in the kitchen. She'd be working around and all of a sudden her apron fall off. Oh, my God. Because yeah. they'd, Just undo they'd the... pull the strings yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was the only other I problem. I was here one day, though, working, and I remember I was in the room in the corner there. It was early. I don't know if it was early season. Oh, it was late season. It was October time. I was the only one here. My other co-worker was in the kiosk. I was reading the, one of the books there of the reconstruction just because I'm, it was my, like I got here at the end of the season to start work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm trying to get information for myself so I'm yeah. not just blankly saying stuff. <laughs> 
And I remember hearing three subtle knocks. Mm. Ah, da, 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 da. No, but like. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it didn't sound like the one with the metal knocker. There was nobody in the habitation. Like a hand. Like a like an actual. Pa, knock, pa, knock, pa, knock. Pa. And I was just sitting there, and I just look up, and I'm like. Hello? <laughs> the, day before, the day before my best friend went into the hospital, oh. where she spent her last six weeks, oh. I was getting into the elevator in her apartment building, and I hear, donk, 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 and I, I'm, a, I'm an answerer. So I, I hear the knocks, I say something, because yeah. I'm not here to mess yeah, with you yeah. guys. You no, I, you that's know. what I looked up, and I, was I go, like, and I said, hello? I was just like, hello? Oh, but hey. But it was in that room, and the thing is, I look out, and I'm like, no, there's nothing loose. And there's like nobody in the habitation, so I'm like, because it's somewhere. well, I've had people who have come in here other years, and they go like, we sent something. Did something happen? And I'm like, this has been used for 400 and some years. Yes. Yes. The <laughs> in short, like in yes. short, yes. <laughs> Not. I don't know exactly what. Yeah. But the you are that, feeling wow. some energy. It the could one be that the history, makes it could be just the fact energy. that it's been 400, 400 years. years. Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. it could just be that there might they be actually had, something. Yeah. They had one of the Catholic priests and one of the Jesuit priests yes. were constantly, constantly, constantly at each other. They did not get along well. And there was a lot of, oh, you know, this guy's going to kill that guy, that guy's... Well, they ended up both dying at one point in time. And they due put to scurvy. Them, due to scurvy. And they put them both in the same hole. Oh, my, and oh my God. God. Picture the feud. And I'm like, oh how is there not more hate here? <laughs> And the thing yeah. is, we put them both in the same hole. Yeah. How are we not? How are we not uh, dealing with this? Yeah. But the thing is, I can just picture them like, and if it was like a cartoon or something, saying like, "You're touching me. You're touching me. Stop breathing yeah. my air. Yeah. Like, you're, oh, get oh, up. Stop <laughs> decaying I on me. I don't even think they would have had a coffin. I think they were just put in the same hole. Yeah, a bag and just not like, even a bag, just in the same hole. Body over yeah. body. I think bad coffins. I don't know when they started oh, to really be. I think it was a uh, situational. Yeah, I think I think a lot of that burial crowd had, situation. They had to yeah. keep the wood because wood, it was especially wood, during wood, winter, wood. and it was just after they had passed their winter in Saint Croix. Oh, and they because were like, was... "Nope, we're not doing that again." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, wow. those two didn't like each other, but they were they do now. <laughs> well, yeah, they the Jesuits were, forced it, were like the bad ones. Oh yeah, it, the it, Jesuits it, were the. The, were the, the black top. robes. Right? Yeah. They were right. called so the black robes. When I, I black actually robes. just learned that that particular little factoid just a couple weeks ago, and I was like, they did not. Like, that, yeah. you're just asking for it at that point. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when we say these stories, like, I'm sure, were we telling the stories because we read them, we know they're written down, but when I read that one, I'm like, okay, I have to read it again. <laughs> because it almost sounds like something you would make up just to make light of it or to just, you know, yeah. change yeah. a bit of the yeah. thing, but it was, and I'm like, okay, maybe they did like each other and just fought just to show. <laughs> no, I <laughs> highly don't think they liked each other. No, I know, but that's what you think, so you go like, yeah. <laughs> story. One of the things that Champlain did, did document was that the original design for the space didn't have a space for a chapel. No. But no. he was like, fine, I guess I'll give it to them. Yeah. Because they're well, he here was for Protestant. The... He wasn't really Catholic. Yeah. yeah. The only reason, so when he wanted to go to Quebec, he had no money left. Nope. So he had to go to the Catholic church and he says, can I have money? And they're like, you're not Catholic. So he's like, okay, I'll get baptized. Next week oh. comes back and goes, I'm and he Catholic got married now. to an under shot life because like, his father was rich. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. That's how he's like, hey, I'm married to this Catholic girl. I'm being baptized Catholic. Yeah. Can I have money now? That's Damn. Okay. Totally and he brought <laughs> Ellen with him on the one of his, of his travel. So, well, his father-in-law could like, yeah. give a couple. Yeah, take her. You, you can <laughs> her. Uh, well, bring yeah. a daughter. So oh, bring her with me. Will you give me your ma her dowry? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I always found interesting as well is dowries and all that. It's just I'm like. They better be damn good goats, but... Yeah? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna trade you goats, you better be good ones. I'm the driver. <laughs> yeah. And this is... Oh, there the you chapel. go. There you go. There is a chapel. That shop lane. Well, well, okay, I'll put one there. Minor paranormal activity here, but apparently, you know, people have had some stuff. It's more on the exterior, she says. Yeah, which is interesting, because you can always access back there. Yeah, so these are the ones that I didn't this get a chance to. Uh, oh, you went oh. there. Then, oh, that was the probably. Uh, this uh, is the apothecary. 
Thank you. There you go. Chills is apothecary and her little witch ball. And her oh, herbs. Yeah, they're all bugs. Oh, they're all cool. bugs. Yeah, this is gonna. Since so the doctor. Oh, no! That would probably. Uh, that's for the sick ones. Mm, yes. Stay and talk. Uh, what? Stay and talk. <laughs> Hello. Bonjour. Who, who are we talking to right now? Are you Acadian? Are you Acadian or French? Tu es Acadien ou Français? Stay and talk. That's crazy. Yeah, I was taking a look at these two. They're little like herb pots yeah. or yeah. plates. Yeah, what Gary was the, the like the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's the mixer bowl. Yeah, right there is a mixer bowl for everyone who doesn't flour, know what that is. Uh, peach flower syrup. Creme de Venice, Venice turpentine. Jalap. It syrup. Tart de cream. Rhubarb syrup. Laudanum. Yeah, rhubarb and jalap. I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. I, bro, friend. I could literally, I could see them renting this out to people, you know? For the whole night. The others mean harm. What? The others oh. mean harm. Probably talking about the native. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Wait, though. But the natives were here first. Yeah, no, no. But the French, they were a threat for the French. Yeah. Some of them were. Well, I mean, you're coming, coming to their land. Someone's coming. Oh, the gentleman over there just entered. When it said someone's coming, the gentleman entered the divinity. Or what if they're talking about residual? Uh, Whoa, the second thing is up there. Yeah, probably a uh, attic. It's beautiful here, man. Oh, yeah, I've already been in that one there. Already been in the one, so. Alright. It's me making sounds. Whoa. This is awesome. Oh, bro! You've got to be kidding me right now. Yo, look what's on this wall, Jeff. Take a look. A musket. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, It's an old musket. Yeah, this is the governor's. This oh, is, definitely. You can tell with yeah, the way this everything's is the uh, residence. really nice. Yeah. You probably had, uh, look at these are all skins and stuff too. That are... And that's a rope musket. Yeah. You have a, a rope in there. And then you just and when you back. fire, the rope would go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this. Yep, like that. If that shot, that would be crazy. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, so it's a little bit dark here. I'm a whoa. This is a. Uh, right here, bro. Dude, this is uh It's really heavy up here. There's something with this one. There's something with this room right now. You're gonna to want to bring up your spirit box. This is the governor's bedroom. Whoa, governor had a good. Yeah, man. Yeah, the bed. Yo, this is stained glass. Does anybody have any device or anything on them other than spirit talker that they can put, well, put there, in a certain corner? I have an SLS. Well. Oh. <laughs> Did that close? Yeah. Or was, or no, 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 it closed. Let's see if it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah open it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's Dude. the weight main. This is, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, the the it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> yes, over here. What did you just say, Charles? So yeah, I need I need someone. Okay, I'm setting to up to put something in here. a specific or, corner. Oh, okay, I have oh, my, uh, no. I have SLS. No, I'll, I'll, I, I, I know. I know. I can't either. There okay. we go. Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's picking up Jeff really good. To the spirit who's trying to reach out to me right now, can you please ring that device in the corner if you want to communicate? Go ahead and touch it. It won't hurt you. Who's 
toucher à la cloche, s'il vous plaît. Nous allons vous approcher et lui toucher doucement. Monsieur le gouverneur, pouvez-vous vous coucher dans votre lit, s'il vous plaît? Mr. Governor, can you lay in your bed, please? You have to be really in shape. I heard that one of the Mi'kmaq chiefs is coming. He wants to meet you. We'll be here really late. Mm -mm. Energy is faded. Wait, what? Huh? Could that have been from you leaning over to it or? But it did it three times. Hmm. That's the powder is irregular, so I don't think it's you. Yeah, Wait, I'm gonna try it one more be. time. One more try. That one was. Hmm. In, um, I'm gonna do the same movement that I did. Continued when I yeah. stood up. Yeah, see now it's not doing it. We have another stair set. Have we been in here yet? Oh yeah, we've been in this one. Not in this one. Not upstairs, no. Damn. It's like 22 degrees out here today. Oh my god. I almost want to take my shirt off, man. Yo, this is dope. You almost feel like you're in a like video game, movie, Assassin's Creed type of vibe. <laughs> I found a, a treasure chest here wow. full of uh, wool. Yes, sir. With wool that probably came from Europe. Yeah. Ship with a ship. <laughs> <laughs> those uh, those were, uh, probably have yeah. been sailed and shipped by a ship oh. that was shipping ships in rope. The ship shipping ships and that are this. supposed to Coffins. ship. It's a wooden <laughs> Of course you found a wooden coffin. <laughs> What's in it? Oh. Me. <laughs> Is there something in it, Jeff? No, me. No, well, lift it. Here. Oh, that's rad, dude. Sheesh. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that was like a storage room. Like, yeah. Call. Like you had like extra cannons here. Yeah. The sails for for the ships. Wow. And another one too, eh? Yeah. Same yeah. thing that would have been there. Yeah, uh, exactly. And right there is where Kia had a fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there is where Kia had a fit. I tied her to that tree. She, oh. she lost it on me. Oh. So, <laughs> fun story about that. Oh. Yeah, everybody. Our dog has been here. Only on the outside. <laughs> but yeah, we came in the winter to take her photos and we didn't get in because they're seasonal, of course. But we wanted to. We wanted to like, like if you guys don't know, we love to document the Canadian stuff, give you guys what's out here in Nova Scotia the best we can. And it's refreshing for us and you guys. And we want to document more of Canada. Of course, we'll go to the States, you know, and do more stuff. But there's spots down here that I want to take you guys to that I haven't had the chance to take you guys to yet. Even down south, there's like the south of the province, there's a UFO thing there, like Shag Harbor and all that stuff. It's where a huge UFO thing happened like years ago. And we want to take you to a lot of places, but slowly trying to knock one off at a time. I love it. You love it? I love it. You love it? 
Okie dokie. So we're actually returning to a location that we went to on the main channel maybe two years ago now. That's wild to think, two years ago. But we are returning to the amusement park here in Nova Scotia. So for the OGs who've been with us for two years, you would remember this from the main channel. Um, we know that maybe about six months ago, or maybe a little less or more, they actually came and tore down most of the park. So we don't have super high hopes, but when we were driving by, we did see that there was maybe a building or so left. Yeah. So we're taking Jeff Urbexing. My first Urbex. Yes. First Urbex. We're taking Jeff's Urbex virginity. And I'm um, losing my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see what's left. Hopefully some stuff. The cops are still there. Yeah. And if we're getting shoot, I'm gonna be shoot for the first time. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this was like when we came last time there was a guy in like a, a truck. A little yeah, off-roading vehicle and he picked this out. But what people there's like teenagers bashing shit, that's why. We would have been able to have a nice explore, but there were just these yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So which way should we go guys? Well, I, I know the houses are down there. But there's a there's stuff. Yeah, let's go. This is actually where Jeff we got caught. So we were <laughs> about to fly up the drone around this area right here and that's when the guy in the truck came up and he's like, hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> and, and we're just like, we had just gotten the drone up in the air and we're just like, oh, we're just photographers. And he goes, you gotta leave. So uh, we got out of there. <laughs> but we were right here, memories. No way. This was all water. Yeah. That was all water. Oh, it dried up. Wow. Still pretty cool it's though. Like a little train or something. You can still see the tree topper adventure park thing. There was a zip line. It's probably going from place to place. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because right there there was more water slides over there. They're just all gone now. What the hell? That's crazy. But they left the boardwalk, how kind of them. Yeah. It smells like swamp. Oh, yeah, because yeah, look, they must have blocked it off. Oh, so yeah. Like, probably. That's what, what they did. The height. Yeah, they blocked it. Probably when the high tide was coming, they filled this up and they blocked it. Salt water. Yeah, so they must. Oh, oh, geez, yeah, be careful, guys. Yeah, there it is. They blocked it right here. You can kind of still see the. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes me nervous. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't trust these boards no more. Which way do we go? Well, we could go. This way or this way or up I mean, you or come. down or around. Yeah. I don't think they have security for this place anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this will be a nice calm explore. Right. I wonder if I can find that video and put it on the this channel mm. and then kind of show you guys what it was before and the incidents that. Yeah, that'd be cool. It was so brutal because all we were trying to explore it and all we hear is like bang, bang. Bang, and there's just groups of people just destroying the side of a house. So it was like, oh, come on. It <laughs> still is nice, <laughs> even okay. though it's this. Still a nice piece of land. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Go. All yeah, right, yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. guys. Um, anyone have a belt? <laughs> Not anymore. No. Yeah. yeah, look, it would have went like up there, like yeah. there, right over the water. That would have been pretty. That's crazy, yeah. So they're just like letting this dry up, almost. It's probably like a riverbed and they blocked it. Yeah, so yeah. it fill up. Now it's like a little bit open so the water trickles down all the way. Yeah. 
every single house is just done. Yeah. It's gone. Yep, it's just the land. Whoa. It's the first time I'm on the site of an abandoned amusement Something. park. <laughs> amusement park. It's my first amusement park. Wow. This must have been like a big building or something. Oh, there was like several just in a circle. Right here. But yeah, I don't know if you guys caught this, but when we were here last time, all we heard were just big bangs, bangs, bangs. Just doosh, 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 right in the, right in the distance. So yeah, cops came, heard the sirens. We had a dip out and we weren't even doing anything wrong. We were just like urbexing, urbexing respectfully, you know? And that that's the beauty of exploring. We're just looking out buildings that are not in use anymore. We're yeah. not stealing anything. We don't break anything. Technically well, it's though. It's my first explore, but when I go in and investigate, I don't break anything. No, no, no. So no. it's kind of the same when well, you, yeah. you, you, you're urbexing, if you break yeah. something. I mean, I've showed cops before my footage. I'm like, if you think I'm trespassing, look, I walk in just normally. There's no signs, there's no nothing. I'm just, I'm not even, you know what I mean? Everything's on camera all yeah. the time. So that's my backup. Wow. So yeah, there you have it guys. An abandoned amusement park that's not even existent anymore. <laughs> I love it. Wow, yeah, that was all water. It's crazy to see this run down and gone and Sad. this land is so just sitting. Yeah, yeah, that was that was water. Right yeah, here. All that, that was part water. There, but not the island. No, these were no. paths. But the roller coaster was right here. The wooden roller coaster was right in here. No way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been here. And what's crazy, like we weren't even supposed to be visiting this today. We were just in the area. <laughs> and we're like, oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's uh might as well do it. Yeah, so you used to run like down here, around over that. I gotta show you the pictures, bro. Oh yeah. What the hell is this? Oh what? Oh cool. There's just a tunnel, bro. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, right over the main road here. On both sides of the road. I I've never noticed anything over there, but 1989, we built a bridge. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe maybe when the amusement park was open, you could walk down here as like a nature walk or something. We aren't from this area. We've never, <laughs> none of us grew up here, so I assume some of the locals that might be watching this could have actually been here back in the day when it was open. So, you know. There's probably a video online somewhere about somebody like, that came here. Real footage. And so I had yeah. a few people comment that last time. Oh, well, publicity, commercial, you know? Yeah, we'd have to look that up. We're not going to name drop this place just no. because it's so... We'll try to find some footage without the name of the place. Yeah. Because, well, just for your safety or people's safety yeah. and, you know. Because it is really all destroyed and just the bridge we, <laughs> we went over yeah. was kind of sketchy. This is an adventure and a half, guys. It's good for the lives. It's good cardio. Inclines at about a four or five. You use a treadmill. Uh, walking out at 3.4 speed. I'm gonna have to keep my voice a little bit down, though. I don't know if there's any workers. Technically, there's no signs. There's no signs at all that we saw. Oh, there's a building there. Yo. Oh, this spot. Okay. Okay, so we just reached the last few buildings. This is the remaining two, I assume. Yeah. They probably will, or it's heritage, mm. and they can't. Well, we're just about to tear them down. Well, no. Oh shit. <laughs> well, would you look at that? It looks heritage. It actually looks like it was a house from back in the day. I don't think you can just recreate that. That too as well. That was yeah. an old barn, 100%. Well, probably it was like a theme about like houses of uh, Nova Scotia probably. Yeah, or they built on land where a bunch, this used to be a neighborhood maybe. Carefully 
glass. Oh, look, Halloween paint on shit for <laughs> costumes. 100%. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. You got little hobbit doors. What the hell? Everything is still left. These buildings are still left here. Whoa. Damn. So if you guys didn't know, I know it's slow right now, but uh, we're off collecting more videos for you guys, of vlogs and main channels. So they're coming, trust me, they're coming. There's a lot of stuff we're trying to do, even Charles and I are doing some stuff too. Getting ready for a big... I think that's it. What? That's, that's it. Stuff. Yeah, we're getting ready for a big seven day binge of filming at the end of the month to get ready for July. So we're gonna try and fill that up for you guys so all of July is good. But like right now we're just uh, calming down from all this tension, you know? Like I feel like I've been editing my ass off for a while. So I'm taking the week to chill, film, and then get back on track for you guys, get back into the game. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, I think that was the only two buildings that we saw from the road for these ones. And that's it, eh? I gotta check this garage barn real quick <laughs> as if man yo <laughs> all right so so this was a kitchen paper towel roll no i think it was more look you got to press probably more like okay. for uh like trolley maintenance yeah. It oh, probably really? had like an old trolley that was going all around. Oh, you know what? The vehicles would have been stored here. The, mm. oh, yeah. the on-site, you know, the patrol cars. cars or something. Yeah. Nothing in there. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, this is pretty much it in here. Looks a lot bigger on the outside. <laughs> well... This is the nicest invisible amusement park I've seen. Yes, I agree. No way. You can still go up this. Oh, it's pretty stable. <laughs> so we're going up the zip lining tower right now. Oh, check that, check that. Oh, yeah. That's a right there. This isn't that big, but oh, these are soggy steps going on. And we're up. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> I've seen better. We got a little friend. I'm going to name you. I'm going to name you. Jimbabwe. Yep. Jim, Jimbabwe. Yeah, he's chilling. Boy, John's a good little Jimbabwe. Look at that. You're a good little Jimbabwe. Oh. He's a good boy. Something big that came and shot here. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I know what it was. A Pukwudgie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yo. Imagine still having a zip on. You just right down there. You'd run off. This has a roof. And this would have been lake or water because the ocean, there's a dam over there and the ocean would have let all of that in. But this would have went right over top of everybody. And even up there, you can see all, like this would have been dope. I would have came here, sure. Help! Oh, shit! <laughs> no. Oh! Ah! Oh, dude, you see what? What oh. are you doing? <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to freaking walk up. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, 
Did you get that, Jeff? <laughs> I just saw, I just saw you when I was <laughs> All I see is your hand, like all I hear is help me, and then <laughs> I saw you disappear. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. You almost oh. flung me down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Keep you're, it stable. You're alive. Though. You're alive. <laughs> Keep stable feet because that sucks. Look at that. Yeah, I'm on to you. Seriously. Oh. That's crazy. It doesn't look crazy on camera, but it's crazy. Wow. Look at that. That's, yeah, that's Right there. <laughs> Was that fun at least when you're going back? Yeah, I mean, I'm a. Uh... I'm surprised you did not get one grass stain on you. That's impressive. Yeah, but look. Oh no. Yeah, it's my... okay, the magic eraser would take that off. It's okay. <laughs> Careful. Wow. Now that's beautiful, guys. It's very beautiful. So, the Micmac people used to be indigenous to the land. They were always indigenous. Got to kind of think about it. They would feel awful about people coming to their land, you know, taking their stuff, using their stuff, and then telling them or oppressing them into like slavery, all that stuff. So you got oppressed natives, native Canadians, you know, indigenous people that want to rebel back because, hey, it's their land, right? So you have a lot of that battling back and forth, New France. I mean, anyone would that had something taken over would just want that back. You know what I'm saying? So, and it makes sense. A ghost drummer is known to be heard here. The drumming, the residual ghost sounds people hear mm -hmm. could be from the indigenous people. Oh. They hear drumming. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the drumming, the um, uh, freaking, uh, war drums either that or they were attacking the fort war drums boom 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 yeah, yeah. this is literally the oldest cemetery over two thousand bodies buried yeah. around here i was gonna say because it doesn't look like much but there's sh there should be more yeah, there should be more because some of the markers dating back to the 1883 their son lost at sea in 1883. 1883. So they found it. Rose Fortune. They gave her this? Probably. Rose. Rose Fortune. Um, I feel like I've heard that name before. The first, um, oh, the black. Uh, the black. First, the first black one, cop. Yeah, she was or, transportation and she was the, 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 um, the, the, like the guardian of the, the wharf. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Wow. Could have been uh, born in uh, Virginia. On a, and brought as here. A slave. Yeah. There's so many spots we go to, and then over time I forget what That's half so of the history crazy. is. Sweet. I like that. Yeah. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I'll take That's this early one. Early 1900s. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're back now. Uh, Jeff is. We had to pull up here because uh, his battery died. So we're not going to be spending too much longer. Is that a, a bell? It's a bell. Is it? No. Oh, yeah. no, it's just... no, it is a bell. No. What? Oh, they took them out. Like acorns. Yeah. I s they look like bells. They did look like bells. You're right. Look hey, remember these? The crypt tents. Yeah. And there's some as well that if you there's some as well around here that from above they're across. Oh really? There are two. There's a pair of them. So last time we saw these were in Tennessee. Yeah. At the crypt tent cemetery or whatever. Yeah, they're kinda similar, right? Yeah. So I mean it makes sense. This would have been around the same time they would have been doing that in Tennessee. But so there, Bro, they got crypt tents. So these would have been made to protect the bodies yeah. from like rain, rodents getting in, people vandalizing, whatever. Yeah. Instead of the san standard. Yeah, table two. Yeah. Well, those have like armories on. Yeah. I don't know if they have a list like 
of the people that were interred here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. are you good, bro? <laughs> yeah. You didn't nail your nuts, did you? No, no, oh. the knee. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't the nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that even doing there? Yeah, we're the, the railing around this. Yeah, there is another That's one. Like a family plot because yeah. they all have the same kind of armory. <laughs> yeah. We were supposed to film a main channel, and then we we're like. We got to be up at like 7 tomorrow. And we have to be to at the boat at, uh, at 9. We have to be on the wharf for 9. Yeah, we're doing uh, an island adventure for you guys. Going back to McNabb's Island. You guys know McNabb's. It's a haunted island. You can only get there by boat. That's the purpose of an island, of course. It's not often we do that and we live down here. We don't know if we're going to stay overnight. Depends. We might get trapped. We may not. But yeah, we're going back to the island, but we're going to be doing a full adventure style main channel now this is the first in a while we're gonna be doing that it might actually turn into night we might stay you know throughout the night i don't know yet but uh, we have a guy willing to drive us out and we're gonna give it a go again so we got to get up early that's it for this vlog once again we appreciate you guys being a part of our life a part of our channel paranormal discovery the men's life where you guys are right now if you guys aren't subbed yet hit the sub we're dropping as much as we can we've been busy recently we've been uh you know stalking videos trying to get out jeff came down to film with us too i know it's slow but we're trying we're actually taking the week off to just you know clear our heads and collect videos so we appreciate your patience and more is coming so more is coming more is coming we promise we promise <laughs> we're only human so yeah we do get burnt anyways we love you guys thank you for your support your love, all that stuff always. And we wish you guys the best afternoon, day, night, morning, wherever you guys are in the world, we wish you guys the, the best. best. One love, peace.